Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to add chapters to your YouTube videos or how to add timestamps to your YouTube videos, if you will. So I'm going to show you the process and later on I'm going to briefly talk to you about how to actually rank with chapters on YouTube and in Google. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. So this video right here doesn't have any chapters yet. Now this is of course something we are going to add here in the description. So I'm going to go over some important points that you don't have to forget when you're going to add chapters to your videos. Now before I add them though, I'm going to first go down here. As you can see, I'm just going to scroll down here. And this is something very important that you want to make sure it's off. So so it's unchecked as you can see allow automatic chapters and key moments this will mean that youtube automatically is making their suggestions where the chapter should be but of course this is very often off and incorrect so you want to make sure that this is unchecked very important and then i'm going to click save here so whatever video you did in the past or might make in the future make sure that the allow automatic chapters and key moments is off on your youtube videos very important now for me personally because this is my own description i actually put them underneath here on their playlist but that's of course a preference that's how i do my description so here i have chapters I'm going to do colon here, get it to dots. Then here, as you can see, I use this, these little triangles here just to distinguish the different sentences here. But anyway, how you always want to start, and this is important, is zero. And you can, of course, also immediately stick the zero to the border here. It's just because I like to add these kind of things. So anyway, I'm just going to type zero, colon once again, so the two dots, zero, zero. Space bar is also very important. And intro. This is how I always do the layout of my chapters. And what is also very important is that you have always, but I mean always have to start with zero, zero, zero. And then the name, you can call it whatever you want, but most people call this intro because it's going to be the beginning of your video but it is very important that you have to start with that zero two dots zero zero so now i'm actually going to add two other ones i can actually just Control c so basically copy this one paste and paste here also something i like to call because it's going to be the end of the video the conclusion so i like to call this outro but once again it's up to you what you want to call that so i've seen in a video that at 25 seconds that's so that's how you write with seconds the intro is actually over so from zero 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 to 25 seconds it's the intro and then from 25 seconds to whatever's going to be next here is going to be the next chapter i'm just going to type video here and then here the outro which was i checked at 15 45 now once again it's not generally how i would do it i will show you an example afterwards of one that i did put time in to actually make fully also make sure by the way that any chapters at least 10 seconds so as i said you have to have at least three chapters here but also they have to be a length of at least 10 seconds because it's very important otherwise youtube is not going to recognize it and it will not exist basically the chapter just make sure that it's at least 10 seconds also at least three letters here after the timestamp and so like this you should be good and now what's nice if i click on save here the changes would actually immediately be done so you don't have to do it with other features on youtube where you actually might have to wait in this case it'll be immediately done and immediately updated so if i go to the video here if i do a view on youtube and so as you can see down here now it's white so you can't see it that well but basically as you can see here we ended it on 25 seconds that's where the intro stops and the video actually starts then i just called it video for the purpose of this tutorial and then when you come here as you see a 15 45 it ends and it goes into the outro which is my third and last chapter here also if you go down here in the description you can see the chapters one by one also with the timestamps underneath here so you can actually select different timestamps in question here once again you can actually also see them in the description itself once the video is uploaded and you can actually also click on them of course here in the description if you want to go to them or just see the overall chapter names also another small detail that's pretty important those chapter names by the way will not be automatically translated to a viewer in a different country so if you're from a non-speaking english country and i just saw here made the names here in english it will remain in the language you chose it to be. So in this case, English. It's very important to not automatically translate to another language if you're in any other country. Just a little info I wanted to give you there. And something else very important I wanted to mention. Not all videos are actually legible, by the way. If you have any active strikes, or even if your content could be inappropriate to some viewers, so your videos might be, for some reason, YouTube thinks it's inappropriate, and thus the video chapters might not actually show up, which is also a common problem, which could have multiple reasons. But I already went over a few steps here. It should avoid you having any malfunctions while doing your yeah, youtube chapters so then how we can actually remove them simply we can just do this and simply just remove them click save here it's really as easy as that and just go back to view on youtube go back to the video in question hey guys welcome back now as you can see here at 25 and here also towards the end there are no chapters anymore all been removed as you can see just became one video again without any chapters so now i actually wanted to finish off by showing you a video that i did correctly odd chapters to and this also helped with me ranking a video as you can see if i go down here this one has chapters added here i'm going to show you all of them as you can see these are the one right here now as i said i always add intro and outro that's just an extra detail to distinguish the beginning and the ending of the video but basically the most important part here as you can see are those 
videos here. I actually went over how to add a scene and source in OBS. It could actually be something. If, for example, you type that in Google, my video can actually pop up because there's a chapter called like this. So if someone types this or this one right here, or maybe just a general tab of OBS, the audio tab, even OBS voice filters, those could be tags that actually might appear in search, specifically Google, so external views also called, that you could have on your videos. Now, also because this is in description, and if you put like a description right here, as you can see, I'm basically describing my video in a general way. It's the description of my video here. It can also take out tags, so basically keywords and pick them up in the research. So the SEO basically means in search engine optimization. So basically the whole process of actually finding, in my case, this YouTube video and everything that comes with it. So here are, of course, the tags that could be appear in the keywords. And just because it's also in the description, also the chapters here could actually be specifically found throughout searching it on Google, for example. Don't underestimate that. You can actually do it as a form of like how to add a scene as an OBS. You can actually do it under this form or how to add a game capture in OBS. It actually might help a lot or you can just do it like this or just do it like this, just the general words. But it'll generally help you more if you, if you like a how-to at the beginning, if you're doing tutorial videos, of course. But that was just a quick explanation how you can actually add chapters. Also, how you can actually add those chapters, use those chapters to actually rank as well in Google, as I said. Also very important. Also very important to mention. In any case, hope this video helped. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe, it would also be really nice. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.